Hello there guys and welcome to the second episode in my Bodenham Over the Years series. We're in the 1980s today and in Bodenham in the 1980s you find a lot of your independent bus companies such as Mainline, SYT and uh, Sheffield Omnibus ruling the roads. Today we're in a Mercedes 0305 which is uh, in the mainline livery and we will be on the route 240. The 240 runs from Fobbingham Green to Garston Manor and completely bypasses Apsley uh, Town Centre so it's a very rural route. So let's get inside and prepare the bus for service. Right, let's have a look, I'll get rid of that steering wheel for now. Now the Mercedes 405, it's a very, from the inside, there's a lot going on. It's a, it's a really nice bus, I think. It's a very, yeah, very detailed bus. It's definitely suited to this map. So let's just have a quick look. Yep, that seemed like an alright uh, timetable there. Right, so let's set the destination 240 and we're going to Gaston Manor. Fantastic. Right, and we'll put some lights on. And there we go, we're ready. Fantastic start, luckily there's no passengers on to complain. So the first stop in our route is Bobbing and Green. So we'll just get some lights on quickly. It's exceedingly ah, yeah. cool. Oh, no. What? So we've just got just over a minute until departure time. So we'll just make sure that everything's uh, everything is right. So we'll just pop that down just in case we encounter any glare on our run today. It's currently 12.06 on a Monday morning, so we should be expecting relatively uh, acceptable traffic for this time of the day. Nothing too busy, I would hope. I'm not sure why he's stood up. There's a whole bus of seats. He's still consistent standing up. Fantastic! Right, let's have a look. Everything's on, everything's working. Oh, I've even got a side. Loving that. I'll just leave that up for now. Right, I'd say we were good to go.
that's really the line that we're going to do to the rhythm of the two quality. Now, as far as I'm aware, the two quality doesn't actually change that much over the years. I believe it stays as the, uh, as the same route. I know that uh, it gets bought out. doesn't look like he wants to get on so while we're here let's just analyze the route so it takes approximately 20 just about 20 just over 20 minutes so 24 minutes i think just looking at that to go from garston manor to fobbingham green or fobbingham green to garston manor so if we're looking at 25 minutes and you've got five five minutes layover at each end you've got half an hour to do a an hour to do a round trip. Now this bus has got this route, sorry, has got two buses on in the 1980s, so we should be passing that bus fairly soon. That means that the route runs just roughly every half an hour. Ah, talk of the devil. Let's just flick to the outside, see what we've got. Ah, that one's on the 375, so that one's a absolute bus link. Oh yes, sorry, I forgot to mention them. There is an absolute bus link as well. So, ready for the off, I believe. Nobody coming.
the difficult junction to get out of, what with the fast traffic on this game. to work everything, you know, I would find this much better work. But, you know, there's time to learn, I'm sure. So, then reserves me right, we're coming up to Watton and Asda, which should be on the left, although as we're in the 1980s, I'm not sure if this is the yeah. Sorry for the noise of steering wheel there, guys. Oh, yes, yeah, it's 
says superstar on your left hand side, so yeah, Asda must have been here in the uh, 1980s, which is uh, a good thing for locals, I'm sure. Ah yes, there we go. This bus is a lot narrower than this. I think we'll use Watson High Road as a timing point Hello. again. Morning, Let's just inspect the outside of my bus. Uh, we're getting better with the curb issue. Still, still not quite as close as I'd like. Actually, no way peas are on my bus, I don't think. No. Yes, she was going to get on my bus, but she's uh, she's too old to get up the steps. I'm sorry if that offends anybody. So let's have a look. Let's get that window open. It's bloody 20 degrees outside. Oh no, it's 20 degrees on the bus. Let's get some windows open. We've got any more. Oops. Sorry dear, I didn't mean to look in your, uh, in your chest there. Right, that's fine, off we go again. Double check the, uh, the mirrors before we set off. Fantastic. So, now we're moving on to the gas. Unfortunately, with the Omzi AI traffic, you never can tell. Sometimes they actually stop and wait for you, and other times they just drive right up close to you, and you think, well, what do you want me to do now? I mean, sometimes they just drive straight on into you, because, I mean, that's really the right way to behave, isn't it? Let's have a look. Got some nice, uh, oh, concentrate. It's too busy for gassing. Got some nice 1980s traffic here. Go. 
again, a mile away from the curb. We really need to work on that. Steady driving for things. No need to rush, especially uh, coming up to quite a large crossroads later on. I'm uh, notorious for uh, rushing past it and uh, having accidents. I don't like big junctions. Just like a nice little road like this where you can just take the time. So, my Salaris Urbino struggles on this hill. The thing I hate about this is traffic lights like this can make you so delayed, it's ridiculous. So already I've been sat here for over half a minute.
thank you very much. See, this is a nice route. I love this part because, as I said earlier, I love housing estate routes. And although there's not a lot of housing estate right now, I've got a little bit here. I quite like the barriers, although I'm not really sure what the purpose is there. Statey type place. I mean, I'm not stereotyping when I say that. Um, well, I kind of am. I'm, I'm not meaning to offend anyone by that. I'm a lot of my friends come from Kansas City. You know, so I don't mean anything by that, guys. But I think it's a new use for this area. As well, the fact there's parked cars everywhere definitely suggests Kansas City to me. around there. So there we have it, that was the 240 in the 1980, yeah, in 1980, sorry. Um, so that was a mainline route from Fobbingham Green to uh, Garston Manor. Make sure you subscribe guys for the rest of my Bodenham Over the Years series. I really hoped you liked the video. Any feedback you've got for me, comment below. But other than that, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.